Hey guys, we're playing some more Car Mechanic Simulator, and as you see, I have a warehouse which keeps parts. You know, I wonder. Nope. Uh, anyway, and then we also have this little room, and this is all just from an upgrade. And now we have two lifters. So let's get in order. Let's do this. This seems like a uh, long order. Check the car status. Timing parts. Oil filter and fuel filter both need to be replaced. The fuel filter I can probably get right out. And also this ABS module. Sorry if I sound like complete crap. So there's those two parts off. You can see the oil filter looks super bad. Oh, and we also have a tablet now. So I don't have to walk around and go into a computer. So, move car. To lifter A. Most likely I'm still going to use this lifter more though. So let's lift it up. And now let's lift it up all the way. Let me just make sure I don't have any... Okay, so, that's good. And, let's just go into exam mode so we can take off the parts that need to be taken off immediately. So that I don't have to dig in here much. So all that stuff I, I will get in a minute. Let me just check and see how good these are. Everything around here. So I go make sure that there's any immediate, you know, this part is screwed. So, I'm gonna break it down. Now I'm gonna look at the inside of it. Let's just take this off so it's easy for me to look at the engine. So let's see, first we, okay, the belt tensioner looks crap. Let's see, what else do I need to take off right now? This. Now I can take off this. Now I just have to take off every single thing else. I believe the belts are okay. Yeah, they should have added it. You know, they could add so many features to this game, like repairing cars, you know. Let's see, let's take this off. Just why the hell not. Now let's also take this off. And idler roller B. And then also, right now I'm just going to check the car status real quick. Vehicle cannot be started. Let's look at the battery. Battery's okay. Anyway. So let's see if there's any running gear issues. Nope, but uh, there is brake issues. No running gear. So, actually, before we do anything else, this pri yep, this car has an OBD port, so I can do this. This will tell me, okay, two, four of the ignition coils are crap. So, half, the, half of the ignition coils are crap. Um, but that's not... Oh, uh, let's see. Let's do a compression test. This will tell us about the pistons and all that. Hopefully the pistons aren't damaged. Yes, the pistons aren't. That's good. Let's do this. And then when I do buy parts, I am going to cut that out. Let's see. Okay.
Real quick, I'm just gonna take this much of the engine out. I'm not gonna go super deep into the engine because none of the pistons are damaged. So let's check. Okay, that looks okay. But these look a little damaged, so I mean, so I will check those out. Let's remove these. Here's the other two ignition coils that are complete crap. So now I'm going to take off the timing cover. On some older cars, are tiny, the uh, timing covers are tiny. Okay, these belts could look... I think these belts are crap. Yep, 24%. And 10%. Let's see how the cam gears are. 59, 62, and 50. So I can put these back on. And now, let's check this. Uh, something still is making the engine not start. Uh, maybe one of the fuel rails. Nope. Uh, hmm. What would make an engine not start? Uh, you know, I bet I know what it is. Yes. Fuel pump. Now I'm going to just go replace the rest of the brake system. Okay, guys, I've taken off all the tires, so now let's check this out. This looks like crap. Definitely going to need to be replacing that brake caliper. And that brake disc ventilated. This looks like crap, but it's really not too bad. It's at like 50%. Let's just check this brake disc. And then let's check the brake pads. And let's check this. Uh, let's see if I found everything. Yep, so I did. So, um, now I will cut, so I'm going to cut till I buy all of the parts, and now I'm just going to replace these suspension parts first, because they will be the easiest to get to first. Let's replace all this. Now let's place this back the wheel back. You know, I just haven't had many jobs where people have terrible wheels. I really want to use the, like the tire thing. No, so now we're gonna replace everything here. Now we just need to get this wheel. It may look a little complicated if you are someone who's used to car mechanic sim 2015 when you first buy the game, but you get to hang them it fast. I cannot wait until level like 17 so I can get the barn vines going. Let's get radiator A. This is good. And 
then let's get the power steering pump. I took that off for no reason. The timing belt. Uh, let's put this other one. Now let's put the timing cover on. While we're over here, let's just install the ABS module. I know, I'm just kind of going around everywhere. Someone with OCD wouldn't like this. I'm not doing everything symmetry. Now then, let's rip. Let's put the fuel rails in. I took those out because I thought I may need to, but I didn't. And let's put this bolt in. Now I should need to put these in. Then there we go. put this in the water pump now let's put that idler all these idlers water pump pulley I think the next well I say next but I'm recording this video and but this video is probably going to come out uh, about a day after I record it. Because I already have the video that just went out today, the day of recording. Which is Tuesday. Install that. Let's install that too. Get another idler. I miss anything? Knowing me, I did, but I'm certain I didn't. So let's mount the fuel pump back in. Let's lift it up. And I also need to drain the oil. So now let's use equipment. But that oil isn't too black. Move equipment. Place back equipment. Uh, when did I click on that? Uh, now I just need to install this. Let's see what else. Okay, now the only thing I need to do is install a uh, well not install but you know put some oil in this put the oil in the engine so then we take the dipstick out looks good Take it out, put it in. Yep, looks good. I'd say this car is finished. Also, real quick. Okay. Uh, see, did it shove anything in here? Nope. You know, let's see if there's any really quick jobs. This is just gear ball, gear, gears brakes uh, I'm going to do this one I just need to find out what type of transmission it is but first I'm actually going to show me buying parts this time 
you can almost just tell every single time what parts you need. And let's see what type of gearbox is it. Gearbox V8 OHV. So move car. So now let's buy it. Hopefully I can get this one done fast. <sighs> this video is probably going to be like around 18 to 20 minutes long. For me it's been 22 minutes. Okay. To get this. And this. Now we can remove the gearbox. Let's take this up off. The clutch plate and the flywheel. Now let's mount it. Now we need the clutch release bearing and the gearbox. Let's do that. Put in the starter. Now I just need to do the drive shaft. And I believe we're done. Okay, simple order. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And so long.